The Electoral Commission, INEC, is daring a high court from restrain, which restrained it from conducting a supplementary governorship poll in Adamawa State. INEC says it will go ahead with its plan and add two new polling units for the March 23 vote. Ulabi Adenusi has more. And therefore, I declare this... When Harun Andrew, INEC's returning officer for Adamawa State, declared the governorship election as inconclusive, 40,988 registered voters in 44 polling units were enlisted for the rerun. Now, if we look at the total number of votes which could have been arrested from the total number of voters registered in the 44 PUs in the 29 RAs, the margin of this principle should apply. And therefore, I declare this exercise inconclusive. Now, the figures have changed with the new documents presented to journalists by some political parties. Leaders of the Africa Democratic Congress, ADC, and the People's Democratic Party, PDP, alleged that the number of polling units affected is 46, with 34,101 registered voters. They responded to our request for the details of the PU's council. They gave us 46 PUs in writing, adding to against the 44 the earlier announced. The charge dynamic to remain non-partisan in conducting credible elections by ensuring that available ballot papers do not exceed the number of registered voters. They say the supplementary poll will be mere formality. They are the only 31,027 PVC uh, voters that has the right to cast their vote on the date of the rerun. If you sum up the whole scenario, it means the winner of the election has a match. Because the differential between Bindo and Honorable Fintri is 32,476. The Adamawa State High Court in Yola had restrained INEC from conducting the supplementary election, but the Electoral Commission says it will go ahead with the vote.